Good morning, everybody. It's good to see you today as this clean water falls from the sky onto all of us. Um, I'm Bob Wendelgas. I'm president of Clean Water Action. We were formed about 50 years ago to fight for passage of what became the Clean Water Act. And for 50 years since then, we fought to protect the Clean Water Act, including some fights in the mid-90s with a guy you may remember called Newt Gingrich and his contract on America that included a Dirty Water Act. Where Where the, the um, which, thank you, uh, pulled together all kinds of polluter wish lists to destroy the Clean Water Act. So we're back again, and yet, um, and here we're at the Supreme Court. Um, and I'm joining with all of you today on behalf of our members to sit, to plead with, urge, argue with the Supreme Court to leave the Clean Water Act intact. You know, everybody has talked about it already, so I'll just, I'll be brief. Wetlands, small streams are really the backbone of our water system. They're the, the natural water infrastructure, if you will, and we destroy them at our peril. Um, the Clean Water Act protects them, protects our lives, protects our communities. And a court ruling in favor of Sackett would be a slap in the face of the Clean Water Act's 50-year legacy. You know, while, while all of us benefit from clean water, there's really only a small number of polluters that are gonna benefit if the law gets weakened. Um, it's really not, you know, the Sacketts who are the, the main beneficiaries of a bad ruling. In this case, it's the oil and gas industry, it's the developers, it's the polluters who will get a freer hand to destroy our water. We'll lose because the waters that we use for swimming, for boating, for fishing, will no longer be clean, they won't necessarily support fish, um, and we're not gonna wanna swim in them. We'll lose because our drinking water will be dirtier. Um, we'll, you know, millions of us take our, get our water from rivers and lakes and streams. Um, millions more get their water from groundwater. All of those are protected by wetlands. All of those are fed by small streams. Um, if the Sackett, uh, petitioners get their way, all of those sources will be at risk and we will all be drinking dirtier water. And we'll lose because of flooding, right? It, I mean, it just seems like a terrible uh, time to be talking about flooding given what's been happening with the hurricane and given just what's been happening across this country. But we know that as climate change happens, rainstorms will get more intense and flooding will happen more often. Wetlands are our buffer against that flooding, um, and Sackett would destroy 50% of the remaining wetlands in the U.S. It makes no sense. We'll be hurt, polluters will benefit. And I think the last thing I would just mention is, this is not a decision that Supreme Court is making based on science. It's a decision based on politics, right? Um, other people have talked about water flows downstream. You know, we know that if you destroy wetlands, you will negatively impact the quantity and quality of the water in our rivers and streams. Um, destroying half of our wetlands is just inviting disaster. So on behalf of the millions, oh, the last thing I wanna just mention, nobody's mentioned this before. There's a poll done recently this year that looked at how, do, how, how much does the public support the Clean Water Act. 73% of Americans from all parties, Republican, Democrat, and Independents supported the Clean Water Act. 75% said more, streams and waterways in the U.S. should be covered under the Clean Water Act, not less. So the people get it. We need to make sure that the Supreme Court, Court gets it. I mean, the bottom line is clear. Our communities need clean drinking water a lot more than polluters need bigger profits. So thank you very much. When I say clean, you say? Water! All right.